little forge blow off valve. Love that! Love that! <laughs> Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Today, that little part that I've been going on for uh, in the past like three videos has finally arrived. So, I'm gonna quickly open it, um, take the car for a spin literally up and down the road so I can show you a before and after, install it, and then we're gonna go to the shop so I can give you an after, kind of, yeah. But, we've got a dump valve, we've got a blow off valve. So let me just quickly unbox it, we've got it here cheeky little box uh, literally got this off facebook some guy uh, was selling it. i put a post on the facebook forum for the mazdas uh, this guy's run hit this one on his mps uh, and he says he's never ever had an issue now i know these mazda 3s do are very picky with the blow-off valves now in the future i might end up getting a 50 50 one that just uh, throws 50 back in to the car and 50 it back like out to the atmosphere but for now we've got a forge blow off valve so let me just open it and then we're going to get installed in it right for the purpose of this video we're going to call it entertainment uh, i'm quite literally just going to take my car around my estate so we can get a little before um like comparison so when i say i'm literally taking it around the estate i'm wa i'm warming the car up i'm going to drive it down the road and back up the road okay let's do it <laughs> as you can hear the, obviously it's got the research valve on but there's not much going on with it it just gives off a tiny little so that needs changing there she is guys a little forge blow off valve um, obviously this is uh, for the uh, hose that comes off the original like recirc valve uh, so that is just a blanking plate for that so uh yeah let's uh let's get installed it's a lot bigger than i actually thought but let's get it on so just here is the like oem recirc valve um that's the hose that ends up getting blanked off by that little plug that we just got so i'm going to take the intercooler cover off and uh Get cracking. Okay, so that's gave us better access. Obviously, unclip this one, unclip that one, unbolt the research valve. So that is the like OEM recirc valve. Obviously, air comes into it, and it just gets put back straight into the uh, into the engine. With the forge one, there's no hose coming off it to go straight back into the engine, so it dumps it all out. And uh, yeah, you got your vacuum hose there. So yeah, let's uh, get it on. <laughs> That was a really quick installation. We've got the vacuum line back on. Uh, we've got this blanked off. I might put a bit of, bit of uh, tape around that just to keep it in a little bit better. <coughs> Dump valves on. So yeah, I'm gonna put this back together and fingers crossed, there's no issues and fingers crossed it sounds sick. Before I go, I am nipping to Tesco to uh, get some stuff and film this video just for anyone wondering. Uh, I'm gonna turn the car on and just double check that it doesn't have a really lumpy idle, no codes or nothing. It shouldn't do, but just uh, let's just make sure. Now we 
completely fine. I did try just uh, with the original recirc valve, uh, this was last week, I did try just unplugging that hose that goes back into the engine and the car, every time I let off it, it just dropped the revs and it was, <laughs> I nearly fucked it to be honest. But no, the, the revs aren't dropping. We seem pretty, uh, pretty solid. So just gonna let it warm up, give it a couple of revs on the driveway and uh, take it for a spin. Right in the way camera. Just can't get the staff, boys. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds whoa loud. Right, let's take it for a quick rip. Let's see what she uh, she sounds like. It sounds different to a normal dump valve, that's kind of uh... <laughs> That's weird! I like it though! It doesn't sound like too obnoxious over the top like it's being forced. I'll let the car warm up and then uh, we'll carry on. The car's running really well though, the car's actually... Um, there's, there's like no difference except when I let off it's obviously making that noise which is very good because I didn't want it obviously dropping uh, dropping revs and running funny and stuff like that because you're kind of changing the vacuum and, and how the car recircs air so you can actually hear the turbo let back off now when you when you're at higher revs I don't know if you can hear that but kind of hear the turbo that actually sounds sick it nearly flutters it almost flutters Ooh. <laughs> that sounds sick <laughs> I like the way that sounds. It's not your typical like you like <laughs> like your normal dump valve. It's, it's actually sounds yeah. I like that. That's uh, I love that. I actually love that. I think that sounds spot on. It's not too over the top. It's not too like wanting to be a full on dump valve. It's kind of just a little bit in the middle. I love it. That's sick, that's sick. Car's performing fine as well. I, I know I've already mentioned it, but the car's performing fine. Love that, love that. <laughs> Best 30 quid I've ever, ever spent. Shout out to you, mate, that sold me this on the Mazda page. This sounds mint. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> that sounds the bollocks. I really like that. So we're on the way home now. I'm just going to give it a little bit and see if it recirculates when you're at higher, like when you're actually ragging it. Um, perfectly fine, that. Perfect. <laughs> I love this car, man. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, but that's mega. That sounds, I didn't think it'd sound that good. I thought it'd just be a typical like, just blow off noise. Do you know what I mean? Just a whoosh. But it's actually, you can actually hear the turbo. I'm not sure if this is a 50-50 one because I think if this dumped completely to atmosphere i don't think it would run as good as that so not sure i, I like I, i'm not sure because obviously i blanked that hose off so 
your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> but that, I'm very, very happy with that. That sounds mega, boys. That sounds mega. Right, let's get back to the house. Tell you what, thanks to this, uh, thanks to this quarantine, this car's uh, coming together now. It looks better. We've refreshed it, and it's got spoolie boy noises. So uh, very, very happy to be honest. <laughs> it does sound naughty. It really does sound like I don't know. It's just it's weird how it sounds, but it sounds sick. Um, not really sure how to explain it it's uh i wanted to try and go out and get some like drive-bys and stuff like that but i don't want to push my luck we're all meant to be staying at home that's why i just nipped to the shops when i went and filmed that video but no i'm uh, i'm very happy with that i'm just going to quickly go make sure all the bolts uh, are all tight uh, obviously that's just something i do after installing anything i'll just double check it and uh, make sure we're all good but yeah i did uh, i did go the long way home i'm not gonna lie uh but yeah, I can't really fault it. There's no like lag between changing gears when you're proper booting it. It feels as fast. Um, yeah, I can't like I said, can't really fault it. It's uh, it's decent and it sounds good. So I think I'll I think I'll be keeping that uh, that dump valve. And let's be honest, boys, just looks a bit naughty in the engine bed, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I'm just looking forward to be honest to being able to get a front mount intercooler so we can actually see the engine instead of this stupid well not stupid but instead of this uh, cute little intercooler i just think one down there with white writing on it oh i'm just going to quickly oh can i even get to it yeah should be able to just tighten these bolts uh, the blanking plate stayed in fine i didn't even bother putting tape on it that's fine um also got told this is a jbr i couldn't really I thought it was a, just a J and R, but it's JBR, and apparently these are very good. Uh, are a very good brand, so yeah, happy with that. Uh, yeah, let me just tighten these, and then we'll uh, wrap this video up. Right, all sorted. Anyone that has, I'm 99% I'm sure everyone will know this, but anyone that has got an MPS and doesn't know, press and hold your unlock button. All the windows come down, and obviously, if you press and hold the lock button. Or even those go up. Just, do you know what I mean? Fun little tip with uh, with your boy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Sorry if it's a little bit short. Uh, I just thought I, I wanted to get this on. It's my birthday tomorrow, so uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to get for that. Uh, birthday tomorrow, but yeah. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm very happy with how that sounds. Very happy with how it performs. I was a little bit worried that he was going to not perform like it was do you know what i mean like a dunk valve might do but no uh all a-okay anyway if you did enjoy the video please remember to like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next one peace